let's start i'm teaching in manipal so in this you will have four uh, five modules one is the circuit that comes for 20 marks magnetic and then okay so first of all i'll start with the dc circuit because if you know the dc circuit then your base will be cleared okay so i am already teaching manipal students and from last nine years i am teaching manipal students especially b subject and subject and uh, i am having more than 14 year teaching experience but from last eight nine years i am teaching manipal students because maximum students stuck in b can be as you know right so today I am teaching you this topic that is mesh current analysis because this is the important topic. If you'll be able to do this topic, then complete DC circuit you'll be able to. Okay, but if you won't be able to do single topic, that then you won't be able to understood complete DC circuit. So let's start this with mesh analysis. First of all, let's study about the Kirchhoff's law. Kirchhoff is a scientist name and on the basis of his name he gave two laws. One law is based on age and another law is based on current. Right? So the law which is based on voltage that is as Kirchhoff voltage law. Right? And the law which is based on current that is known as Kirchhoff current law. Correct? So Kirchhoff voltage law another name is mesh analysis and Kirchhoff current law is another name is nodal analysis. Okay. Yes, so mesh analysis and nodal analysis both are there in your mesh analysis and node voltage analysis they said you can also say or node voltage analysis. Okay. Yes, so first of all, we'll discuss about in detail about the mesh analysis. So I'm teaching you with a very basic circuit because if you clear the concept, then only you'll do you'll be able to do the numericals. Otherwise, not correct. Yes. Now draw this diagram, and suppose they ask you to calculate current in six ohm by using KVL. Okay. Draw the okay. circuit in your notebook after that like we'll follow the certain steps okay step number one that we have to determine how many will be the number of meshes mesh like just imagine this is your house this is your home okay mm -hmm. and tell me in this circuit that is your home how many rooms are there in this circuit this house uh, two Two. Okay. two so two rooms means we'll have two number of meshes okay one of okay. the meshes a b c d so this is one of the mesh another mesh is b e f c this is another room okay, okay. so number of rooms is equal to number of meshes okay yes. so one of the meshes a b c another mesh is b e f c got it okay. step number one clear Yes. now we'll have step number two now as you know if there are two rooms available then how many will be the people can live in this room if there are two rooms two people can live right yes, yes, suppose this is the room of i1 and this is the room of i2 okay, okay. so in this we have to apply like step number two we have to determine number of variables number of variables that is i1 and i2 right so if i i3 will come and say Ki, give me a space you'll say no we have already occupied you can go somewhere else so that means yes. you have to take only up to two variable i1 and i2 got yes. it yes. now next is step number three that we have to mark current direction okay okay so it's your wish now that how you are moving in your room no one will say that uh, you have to move it in this particular direction, correct? So their wish is there that both can move clockwise, both can move anti-clockwise, one can move clockwise, one can move anti-clockwise, anti and vice versa, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Step number three is also done. Like I have taken I one and I two. I'll tell you what happens 
will it will change the direction first i am assuming this one clockwise okay, okay. okay. next is step number 4 step number 4 is finally we have to mark sign convention sign convention means as you know that current always flows from higher potential to the Low lower potential. potential so it is moving from a to b so positive yeah. to negative. negative then b to c positive to negative okay. battery sign is always bigger one is positive smaller one is negative okay, okay. Like just imagine this is your home this is your college after college you are moving for a gym and then you are going for a mall then back to your home only right yeah. so home to college positive to negative college to gym positive to negative battery sign will remain same irrespective of the direction of current got it okay. yes ma'am. now yourself mark the sign for the second mesh and tell me. now after that now the fi finally last step step number five that we have to apply kvl in mesh one okay what is mesh one that is a b c so whatever the second sign that comes in your path you have to take that like suppose you are moving from home to college you just need to pick the second sign positive to negative so what is the second sign over here negative Maybe. resistance is how much four Current is how much? I1. Correct? I now you are moving from college to gym. What is the second sign? Positive to negative. negative. Resistance yeah. is 8. Yeah. Now this is the like as I told you this is your house and this is would be your middle wall of your house. Right? Like suppose yeah. these are two bedrooms and A Tom is in the middle of I1 bedroom and I2 bedroom. Correct? Yes. Now the question is ki how we can take it like if the signs are opposite as you can see here positive negative and here negative positive if the signs are opposite that means direction is opposite correct okay. and if the direction is opposite then in that case current would subtract with each other okay, okay. okay. but if the signs are same then that means current is direction is also same and if the okay. current direction is same then that means they are at the they will add with each other like if you are moving both in the same direction i1 and i2 both are moving down you will become friends i1 plus i2 you will add with each other but if you are moving opposite side right i1 is going down to for the canteen and you are going up for the lecture that means you don't become a friend you are he is a canteen lover and you are a lecture lover so that okay. means you will subtract with each other okay so if you'll take I1 mesh, I1 will be positive, another will be negative. So I am correct, another one is wrong. wrong. Similar yes. feeling will have for I2 also that you are going to attend a lecture, you will feel like I am correct, another one is wrong. So if you'll take mesh 1, I1 is positive, I2 is negative. If you'll take mesh 2, I2 is positive, I2, I1 will be negative. negative. Okay. okay. This camera that will be positive. So 8 I1 minus I2. Gym to mall. Nothing is there. Mall to back to home. Second sign is plus 10 is plus equal 10. to 0. Never okay. multiplied voltage with the current, it will become power. Right? Okay. So ultimately it is I into R voltage. I into R voltage. Voltage. Okay. Now apply KVL in mesh 2 and tell me the equation. So now we'll have two mesh and two variable, right? We can solve it through the calculator or we can solve it directly also. I'll tell you the way how we can do it for the calculator. Okay. okay. Yes, now after that, do the same question. Okay. Draw the okay. diagram and okay. need to do the same question, but this time take the direction opposite. Okay. Okay. Like suppose this one we have taken both clockwise, take any one as anti-clockwise, then you will get to know the difference in the two parts. Okay, try it. Minus 4 I1 minus I1 plus. Oh, I1 plus. Because both are in the same direction. Same direction. Oh, okay. Sign is also same now. Yes. The first equation. First mesh equation. Now tell me the second mesh equation. Uh, minus 6i 
to uh, six i two minus twenty. Uh, no, minus move it according to the direction of current. Current chara a to b to c f to e. Try to move uh, it in the that so, that direction only. You can move it in opposite also, but the thing is that will be confusing for you. Okay. okay. So it's minus eight i two plus i one and uh, minus twenty. Plus 20. Oh, yeah, because you have to take 20. the second sign. Correct? Yes, Understood? So. Now, first, I1, 5, I2, I minus I1, minus. minus. Uh, okay. Oh. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Right, oh. I three. Yes, ma'am. I didn't. Yeah, okay, okay. I didn't. I one and I two are in the same. Right. Okay. Change accordingly. Okay. But in this, we have taken one clockwise. Are in a but in the same direction. Same we have direction. taken plus. Whenever the sign is same, like uh, direction is same, all are clockwise. That means take negative. Negative. Okay. For the second mesh equation, is five plus five is. Yes, ma'am. I got that. Now for the third, third minus, minus I. I Plus ten is it right? Mm -hmm. And for I four zero. Yes, ma'am. 